Hey guys, welcome back to another Schwister 01 video. And today, we are back in X-Plane, as you can tell, definitely. We are at some random airport today, like actually super random. What country is this even? I don't even know. The airport is called Iran Share. So I guess this airport is in Iran. I don't even know. But what do I see on the runway? That is a very thick aircraft, isn't it? It has eight engines. What the hell is this? So this was back when the thick airliner designs were seaplanes that could operate on water. I know this is super awkward and stuff but this was actually a big idea so the plane that this guy is based on it's this one it's called Dornier Do X as you can see it had eight engines and this one actually flew this one did not but uh, no 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 this is <laughs> this is never going to fly now actually the reason that I'm making this video was actually to see how many engines <laughs> you can put onto an aircraft and this is the X-Plane 11 aircraft with the most engines that I could find as you can see it has eight engines it's kind of crazy. You know, a lot of engines were required back in the days because we didn't have jet engines. And I still don't know how those eight engines are going to power this whole thing. Yeah, I'm kind of skeptical. And I'm also skeptical about how this thing is going to perform in water. Like, doesn't this guy go down or something? Well, I suppose it's easier to swim than to fly in the air, but okay. We'll find out, all right? Let's just go ahead and take off, shall we? Full power. There you go. All eight engines are on 100% power. And as you can already tell, this is not powerful at all. In the cockpit, we have way too many instruments for that time. But I had to kind of improvise with the cockpit because this is a very old aircraft. And we have just taken off. I haven't realized, actually. This is, this is not, this is not, no, 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 this is not. Boy, if you don't get- 1.1 million pounds? That is never going to, no, that's not, that's not gonna work. No, this does not work. I don't believe this. I don't believe this at all. Is this real? Okay, that's interesting. Let's land. I would have never thought that this guy would be able to land. And we have crashed. So as you can already tell, we have passenger cabins inside of the two fuselages. And we have a lot more passenger cabins inside of the wing. And I wonder where the fuel is going to be stored for those eight engines. Let's go to some sea strip, shall we? Right, so we are on our sea strip. And it's very buggy because of those eight engines that are running. This is definitely challenging. Okay, uh, let's just try to... Uh, yeah, this is... No, this is not working. Yeah, I suppose this plane is too big for this river. Let's just go ahead and do a full power takeoff and see how good this thing will be able to take off from here. Let's also get some more weight. Yeah. Some more thick passengers, right? 1.7 million pounds. That's crazy. This is never going to be able to fly. No, no, no. I don't believe this. I still don't believe this. This is barely accelerating. Rotate time, isn't it? This is actually not looking bad. Wait. Have we just taken off this airliner? What kind of small V-speed is that? We're going 50 knots and this is still flying. I mean, this is actually like probably not realistic because the aircraft is so poorly designed in Plane Maker. So I don't believe this still. No, no, no. There's no way an airliner this size can fly at 100 knots properly. But on the other side, it does have a very thick wing. So mm, I'm not quite sure. Can we also land upside down? Oh God, some people are drowning in the back, but it was successful, I guess, right? Can we get a lot more weight going so that we kind of sink into the ocean 17 hours of flight time i don't believe that at all that can't be true hmm, we're barely going down into the water that's interesting uh oh 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 god damn it so yeah let's try landing this plane on a normal runway for normal planes because this thing does have gear so yeah do you know a place far away from water of course it's area 51 uh oh uh oh uh oh uh oh uh oh uh oh oh god the thing is this airplane is so big that it doesn't even matter if you stall onto the ground let's try to get this plane landed again Again, shall we and I do not feel comfortable it's weirdly yawing to the side for some reason that's not good let's get this butter machine landed shall we Oh, we have already landed. And this cockpit is so high that you can't even tell if you landed or not. This is also taking a long time to break. Not gonna lie. Look at that control surface. Wow. <laughs> but we have landed, you know? That's kind of nice. And the alien tower is also still here. Isn't that nice? Totally. Now, this plane has apparently gone to space right now. This is next level. Uh-oh. We're backwards. That's not good. Right, passengers, we're having some stability issues. Ah. Uh, thank you for flying our airline. We will now land this safely. Yeah, this is not gonna work out. Well, let's see how this thing flies in a storm, you know? Another thing that I'm gonna test out next is how many engines we actually need. 
That was sad. Hmm, let's only use two of the eight engines. When I think about it, let's only deactivate engine one and engine eight. So the outer engine stop. This one and this one, to be precise. Let's go and take off. As we can already tell, only six engines are spinning. For example, the Antonov has six engines right now. And it's actually the world record leader when it comes to how many engines you have, I guess. We are accelerating slowly, but we are. I mean, even a Cessna 172 accelerates faster. That's kind of sad. All right, 50 knots, 60 knots. Maybe we can rotate? Nah, not really. Let's not overrun into that lake, though. Even though this is a seaplane, so it should theoretically work, right? 80 knots, 90 knots. We should be able to take off soon. Uh-oh, this is not looking good. 100 knots. We might have a chance now. We do. We do have a chance. That worked out. I mean, we still technically overran a 10,000 feet long runway. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh -oh. Gear out, gear out, gear out. Okay, I, I guess maybe flying a plane with six engine when it's supposed to have eight is not the best idea. So let's use two. All right, then let's turn off all engines except two. Only those two engines are spinning now. We are losing speed. Yes, we are. It's not like we stall out immediately. That's pretty good. Let's put the landing gear out. Oh, God. All right, we have touched down. So that seems to work, I guess. Wait, I just want to try. Can we get this plane up in the air with only two engines? I mean, if those two engines do the job, then the other six are completely useless. We are gaining some speed, which is not really surprising. <laughs> well, to make a two-engine concept work, you just need a long-ass runway. A very long one. Come on, you can do it. 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 Oh, we're actually rotating. We have rotate with only two out of eight engines. Isn't that awesome? Even though we're losing a lot of speed and we're now operating at 66 knots, which is barely enough to fly a Cessna 172, I guess. Boom. So yeah, guys, thank you for watching today's video, and I'll see you tomorrow with another stupid video. Good night.